Welcome back, true believers and spectacular Spidey fans, to another infectious installment of Radioactive Replay Part 4 for Spider-Man 3. In Part 3, we did a lot of different missions in regards to the Apocalypse Gang, the Arsenic Candy Girls, we met Gene DeWolf for the first time in the game, and also took out some of the Mad Bomber's crew members, and now we are going to continue our journey by doing more of the missions. So, again, right now, we have Apocalypse Part 3, which is what we're going to do right now, we also have Arsenic Candy Part 2, and then we have the Lizard Part 2, which is what we are actually going to do in this episode, because I am super excited to fight the Lizard. And again, you might be wondering why the thumbnail for this video looks so good. Once again, it is made by the one and only Andrexman over on Twitter. Please go follow him. He is an awesome art designer and graphic designer overall. He makes great stuff, and this thumbnail that he made is gorgeous. And I definitely expect to see more down the line. But let's go and see what the Apocalypse Gang is up to right now. Hardcore rock and roll, I'm assuming. And wearing eye patches. What's up, Pretty officer? dope. Good to see you, Spidey. We got a tip that the apocalypse wanna blow this power station. If they do that, there'll be a citywide blackout. The apocalypse gang is on the move. Suspect people stop. Shots fly and respond. Time to go put their lights out. That's right. God, do it to it. But we're not gonna swing, we're just gonna hitch a ride on this nice cop car. Because before, when I was playing this game, I was actually trying to web swing towards the cop car. But then I realized, wait, I can just stand on this car. What's? Why can't I just stand on this cop car? Oh yeah, good old nostalgia feeling with this music. And of course, Spidey standing on top of a cop car like a boss. Some of you guys said that he looks angry. <laughs> I can kind of see that. Spider-Man does look kind of a bit furious right now on this cop car. There it is. Sorry, officers, but we're going to get a nice boost ahead of you trying to get this van. Unless they get out of the van like that. Hey, guys. Ooh, nice. Now, before we actually take this guy out, let's have some fun with him. Yay, which, by the way, yes. Even though I love Web of Shadows to this, sadly, it doesn't have that in Web of Shadows where you can hang people up from lampposts. What the heck, Treyarch or Shaba Games? What were you thinking? The only thing that matters in any Spider-Man game, <coughs> Spider-Man PS4, is to have the ability to hang people from lampposts. And in this game, you can go crazy with it. Look how many places you can hang this guy up on lampposts. Or, you know, just hang him up like that. No worries. Like, you can take him up, like, from so many different lampposts. Or just web rodeo him like this. Whoa! Yeah, I would probably die too if I were to be manhandled like that. Yeesh. The Apocalypse Gang is on the move. Suspect vehicle stopped. Shots fired. All units, please respond. I think I'll go teach them the rules of the road. I'll lead the way. Ooh yeah, get that good old Toby dialogue. Gotta teach them with style. Or just, you know, apparently Spider-Man driving is the only thing that this Spider-Man is good at. <coughs> Homecoming. <coughs> yeah. Which, by the way, I found that scene very strange in Homecoming. Where he's driving a car. Even though I get it, he's trying to conserve his web fluid. Still, very strange in that scene. Ah, uh, we got a police chase ahead of us, boys. If we slow down time, though, we can catch him. Like that. Oh my goodness. Epic punching, just without any skill, just rapidly spamming it in his face. Ooh! And also just taking out the car like, like a pro. Wow. Boom! Whoa, ooh. That looked Spike, painful. There's one more car headed right for the power station. We'll never get there in time. I can. That's right. Haha. <laughs> You guys have to drive cars. Ah, you silly fools. Nah, I'm just kidding. They're police officers. They actually need to drive cars in order to get to places instead of like us with our skills. Do I want me to do it? And bam! Oh man. Dual swinging, you have no idea how fun it is to swing in this game. Ah, oh, so good. Again, does it beat Spider-Man 3 or 2? I don't know. Ouch! A bomb! What a coincidence. You got it, Toby. You can get it. Or deal with these punks first. What's up, losers? Oh, okay. Just you actually just want to start off by I'm shooting me? Touch that good for you. Dead. Just straight up dead. Now, if only I could take your gun away. But I can't kick you into the stratosphere, so that's just as good. So, we gotta take off these electric switches. Very nice. 
That's one. That is one, indeed. Um, but while we are doing this, let us think Just about a few more. what my thoughts are on what recent news is, guys, is the Spy Squad's anniversary. And again, a plane is flying over my house, which I highly apologize about. Jeez. That's the last one. Every time. Just... No time to disarm it. I have to get this thing somewhere safe. And oh! I think I know just the place. That's right. Yeah, see, Amazing Spider-Man 2 tries to copy everything about this game, even disposing of bombs near the waterfront. Good job, Amazing Spider-Man 2, for being a straight-up copycat, which I'll talk about what I was about to talk about in a while, guys. We got important stuff going on right now. Epic throw. Ooh. Man is always trying to tell us what to do. Trying to tell us what's right and what's wrong. Well, let me tell you, there ain't no difference. It just comes down to who has the power to make the rules. And from now on, we have the power. We make the rules. Our oh, time has come. The apocalypse is here! I am so sick of you mouth-breathing knuckle draggers. You wouldn't know power if it kicked you in the ass. And you sure as hell wouldn't know what to do with it if you got it. But hey, you think you're tough guys? In that case, show me what you got. I love how hardcore Toby was right there. Oh, I've never heard Toby as Spider-Man say kick you in the ass or hell. I just love that for some reason. That's amazing. Well, let's do some sweet super moves. And also take them out in the process by punching them really hard. When I was a kid, I failed so many times during this one boss fight. Ouch. Or maybe I still will. Who knows? That, might, that would actually be very upsetting if I lost this boss fight again. Come on, guys. Try a new skill for once, please. Again, line up for height and order of weight for your beatdowns. It makes it much easier on me. Now, if only we could just throw them in the water, that would be a lot easier for us. Nice. Keep on punching the guy while he's down. That's how you be a hero. Brutally just destroying everything about this guy. Ow. And ow again. Ooh, nice one. Wow, he is very mad. Watch how much damage this is going to do to this guy. Ooh, well, actually not that much damage, but still a pretty good amount, I think. And, nope. Now, the hardest boss fight, some of you guys say, is in fact the Kingpin boss fight. I totally agree with that when I was a kid, but now it is a breeze to do that boss fight, and it's super fun. Once we do get to Kingpin and Mega Lizard, I'm going to be having the most fun out of, like, the, the entire game. I mean, all the boss fights are pretty... That's the, the weird thing about this game. Some of you guys may not like it. I love it because of how fun all the boss fights are, especially the standout one with the uh, Scorpion fight. Mega Lizard, which was super hard when uh, I was a kid, but now it's actually pretty easy. And the Kingpin one. The Kingpin one, just for the music. Just for the music of the Kingpin fight is awesome. Nice. And special move. And air combos. No? Not that much? Oh, well. Next time. I wonder what that is. Is that like a leash? I know it's supposed to be a whip, but wow, that doesn't seem that effective. Ow. Ow. Okay, sir, come on. We just want to wrap this up, okay? There you go. Nailed it. Nice. That's why you freaks call yourselves the apocalypse. Because for you, it's the end. Sick burn! Sick burn, as always. I just need more of Tobey Maguire acting like a hardcore badass. That's all I need to hear from him in this game. Oh. Nice. So now let us continue with Arsenic Candy Part 2. Because, yes, going after the Arsenic Candy Girls is all that matters. Especially since the last part we uh, ran into them working on fashion design. So now we're here trying to stop them from making toys. Which are actually supposed to be explosive teddy bears. So that might be a bit intense. And also, yes, now we have double air tricks. So we can do two tricks at the same time. Woo! Oh, that wasn't too good. Like this, skydiving. And movie trick. Which I love how that trick right there is directly taken from the movie. If you guys know that scene in the black suit where he actually does have that that kind of flip trick in the air that he does. It looks awesome. Um, but yeah, guys, like I wanted to say, the Spidey Squad has a YouTube channel. Just to flat out say it right here in case you missed my last video. The Spidey Squad does, in fact, now have a YouTube channel. 
and we have massively upgraded and updated ourselves. We have a brand new logo, which is the two S's. So if you see any other YouTube channel out there without the two S's that say Spidey Squad as the logo, it's not the official Spidey Squad tw Twitter or YouTube channel. It's just a fake. But, yes, we have a new logo, we have a YouTube channel, we're going to be doing tons of stuff. If you saw the last video, we're going to be doing podcasts, uh, collaborations, tons of stuff. We just recently did an audio broadcast uh, with Spectacular Spider-Man Episode 1 and 2, which will be out later. Um, but right now, the first episode is out, and it was a really fun time. I had a blast doing it with the fellow Spidey Squad members. And uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I know I did. I had tons of fun doing it with the rest of the members. And definitely, again, stay tuned for more. And also, recommend to us what you guys want us to do, maybe. Uh, again, we're going to review comics as well. Uh, talk about upcoming news for Spider-Man movies when we get more news on uh, Homecoming or if we see the uh, Infinity War trailer. So that's going to be really fun to see. Um, but yeah, again, guys, I'm really excited for it. I know you guys have been supporting us every chance you get, and we, that means the entire world to us. So thank you. But just stay tuned for the future of our channel, and it's going to be really, really fun. And I can't wait for you guys to actually see what is in store for the rest of the Spice Bomb members to be doing lots of other cool stuff on the channel. Corkscrew, baby! Nice! Yay! Even the crowd is loving it. That's like Super Smash Bros. right there, where you beat an enemy. Or when you beat uh, a level, the crowd cheers for you. So it's the same thing where you fight crime. They're like, yay, Spidey's our hero. And I actually like that. I guess it's different. I like that. It's kind of funny. It's more nostalgic for 2007 again for the Tobey Maguire movies. Oh, I love it. Okay, I just wanted to do that little crime so I could talk to you guys about the Spidey Squad channel. But yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's go into Arsenic Candy Part 2 right here. Love those Arsenic Candy Harley Quinn girls. It's the best. Now, ladies, I know they're cute, but stealing is still wrong. Keep loading those boxes. The rest of you, squash the itsy bitsy spider. Okay, Harley Quinn. Priscilla's gonna be pissed if we don't get those bears. Tell me about it. <laughs> All a day's work for bears? You should learn to play nice. No way. I like it, Rob. What a surprise. Ooh, even Toby's interested in that. He's like, is that the double entendre that you meant to say? Or is something else? Ooh! Epic takedown move. I love the grab moves in this game. Come on, I'll do your special move on me, Harley Quinn. You know you can. Or just backhand me like that, sure. So much for the great teddy bear robbery. Exactly. They're only after the stuffed cotton and nothing else. What do we have here? Hi, just dropping in to say hi. This music! Money and stolen teddies these days? Everyone is flat out dead now. Wedding? Yeah, am I invited? Also, what type of bride would want teddy bears for a wedding present? That's just really interesting to me. I'm more curious about that than threatened. Time to fly! We gotta meet up at the warehouse. Better hang back a little. I'm getting too close. Why? We can totally follow them just by sticking to the helicopter. That's how they show it in all Spider-Man movies. Or uh, cartoons, I should say. This music again! Huh. I love it. Spider-Man 3 isn't all that bad, guys. Come on. This game actually has a lot of cool stuff in it. I mean, I'm not the only one who thinks that, right? Maybe? No? I don't know. I love this game. Maybe it's just nostalgia talking, but I don't know. I, I really do like it. Woohoo! Got a one woohoo, guys. It's either always too close or too far. Because I don't know where they're going to go, but we just have to hang back just for the sake of being a little bit sneaky. Oh my goodness. Nice. Wow, that's really sketchy. How did that happen? Priscilla wants this place burned to the ground. Don't leave any evidence. We don't want cops at the wedding. Someone's been playing with matches. Looks like you got a choice, Spidey. Stop us or save the people trapped in there. What you gonna do? Why not both? You ever think of that? Burn, I can baby, multitask. Burn. Yeah, I want to stay and watch the show. 
Well, you're gonna see it a lot quicker once we take you guys out. Uh, if I hit you, that was. Woo! Ow. Again. Rejected! Wow, that was a giant smash. Do it again. Or not. Nice attack. But it would have been better if you actually hit me with it. Let me try again, though. Haha! -ha. See, that's really cool because they actually use their hammers as a way to counterattack your main moves when fighting. Just another great point in this game with the AI being pretty good. I, need to I mean, you guys to my next barbecue. Exactly. We're gonna have roast beef, bacon, and burgers, and hot dogs as well. Okay, don't worry, p pedestrians. We'll be here to save you. Now, again, this part was so hard for me to do, and I don't know why. Don't worry, sir, you're fine. Yeah, when I was a kid, again, I just used my thumbs to press circle and square. Uh, now I can just use my index fingers to rapidly tap it like a madman. Ouch! Fire bad! How'd they get there? Thanks, lady. There's still a lady trapped inside of it. Fire's spreading fast. I don't have much time. Don't worry, miss, we're coming. I don't know how this thing got caught on fire while we were trying to chase after the helicopter to get there, but dang, really intense regardless. Use that fire strength, baby. Nice. Out the way. We're coming, miss. Don't worry. We won't let you be charcoal. The whole place is coming down. Well, we'll fix that, won't we? Looks like up's our only option. Yep. I didn't mean to go backward, but yes. Gotta go up. Save the, the lives of one woman who's working at this fireworks stand. Or factory, or wherever it is they are, actually. But who cares? Frame rate fire, the most deadliest of all the fires. But, as they say, onward and upward. And fire bad, as well. Later! Yee-hee! Awesome. I'm getting a bad feeling about this wedding arsenic candy's planning. Well, we'll <laughs> we will make sure to stop it, Spider-Man. Don't you even worry about that. Epic. Aw, oh, sweet. We got six? Wow, that was fast. One, two, three, four, five. That was five, game. You miscounted. But yes, now we have the vault attack, which actually does help a lot. Woo! Awesome. Okay. Um, now we got... Ooh, Dragon Tail. Uh, no, you know what? I've been wanting to, to do the lizard mission recently. If we uh, finish that one and we still have time, we'll do the dragon tail one. But yes, let's go after Kirk Connors this time, baby. Whew, gotta make sure that he doesn't go crazy and try to kill people. Or, you know, make people into other lizard creatures. Just saying, that would be pretty bad for a lot of people. Woo! Oh, man. Again, once we get to Mega Lizard, I've been making an intro specifically for the mega lizard level guys and once you see it whew, hopefully if you recognize what the song is for that intro when it comes again i don't know what part i'm going to be fighting mega lizard because i don't know how long the series is going to be but once we do fight him oh man i'm going to have a blast and hopefully you guys will actually love the intro that i make for uh you know the mega lizard part of the game Woo! i don't know what you were sticking to just there spider-man but Still, at least it's better than the swinging physics from uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Land on it, please. Better check it out. Yeah, well, follow that cop car that just ran over us. What the heck was that? Come on, follow the cop car, Spider-Man. You got this. We could hitch a ride on it, but I think we'll just follow it in style. Now, I love some of these side missions because they actually do kind of go into some mini stories. But, yeah, others just kind of go into mini car chases. But still, it's pretty interesting regardless. Where are you going, car? We gotta hurry this up. I wanna go after the lizard. But still pretty cool regardless. Going to the left, huh? Well, we'll follow you. He was swinging so fast on that pole that it was burning. Did you see that? He wasn't getting rope burn. He was getting pole burn. That just seems painful in every way. The constabulary in this neighborhood is worthless. Calm down, sir. I won't calm down. My taxes pay your salary. And if I want to get angry, that's my right. You've got an earful coming, let me tell you. Why, if you were doing your jobs, I wouldn't even need to be here having this conversation. 
That arsenic candy gang knows they have the run of the place thanks to your incompetence. So you saw members of the arsenic candy gang take your painting? What? No, of course not. Do you think I'm so bourgeois as to live in my gallery? The crime was committed in the middle of the night or wee morning hours, and I was safely ensconced in my home. It's no secret that they did it, though. Ever since they moved into this area, crime is out of control. I know they have my painting. I'm sure whatever flop house or back room they're using as a base of operations is somewhere nearby, too. Yes, sir. But we need evidence. We can't start banging down doors just because... The constabulary in this neighborhood is worthless. Calm down, sir. I won't calm down. My taxes pay your salary. Okay, he's gonna go in a loop from there. <laughs> that was interesting. I've never actually heard that full conversation before. That's right, Toby. Don't worry. We'll go find these. Whatever it was. A painting? Something. Something important to that guy. That was actually pretty cool. I don't think I've ever done this mission, actually. I don't think I've... I've done a mission where you have to, um... Find some radios. Or, like, some music instruments or something. Like, stereos. Um, I've never think I've done this one with a painting before. That's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah! They're underground! That's right. Good old Spider-Man 2 status, where you can actually go into certain buildings. It's awesome. Where's the door, though? I, I need to find... There it is. Did you see that dress Marta was nice wearing place. last night? Ugh. I wonder if they stashed that, that painting somewhere. That girl has no style. I don't even know why they let her hang with us. Hey, what? I don't know. She's Can such a tool, it? right? No, why not? I'm a superhero. And a man, not a boy. How dare you? Ball kick. Ooh! Wow. If the frame rate wasn't terrible right now, that would actually look pretty darn dope. I'm just kidding. It still looks pretty cool. Uppercut, baby! Wow. Spider-Man is actually the very first person to invent domestic abuse, apparently. Because of how hardcore he treats the Arsenic Candy Girls. Oops. Come on, miss. We can end this right now. There you go. Wait, one more time. Ow. That's not what I wanted to do. There you go. Nice job. I think that's all of them. No sign of the painting, but maybe I should look again. The old hidden doorway in the bookcase trick. Looks like the Arsic girls have been reading Mysterio's plate. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. Indeed they have. Look at all this stuff. I guess one of these must belong to the gallery owner. I'll let him know. You won't just bring it back? Why not take all of them, Spider-Man? I mean, even though that might take a while, but... Yeah, pretty good. Again, a pretty cool side mission, if I do say so myself. It's actually pretty fun. Again, there's so many different things that you can do in the city. Um, again, there's combat tours, there's races, there's skydiving, which is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, another cool side mission for the books. Hey, sir. I overheard about your stolen painting. I think I found it in an arsenic candy hideout. I knew it! Take me there at once! I simply must recover that painting. And we actually get to drive the- drive- swing the guy over there! Yes. Spider-Man is, of course, the best taxi service in all of New York. Without question. These so-called arsenic girls have made life a living hell. Mine isn't the only store they've robbed. I think they even care what they take. It's like it's all just a game to them. Obviously. Have you seen the way that they dress? They basically took from Harley Quinn's old, old school fashion book. So yes, everything would be a game for them. It's all of them. My word. Look at all this. Yeah, they've been busy. Taking our stuff? Uh-oh. Death Yours? Yeah, Wow, okay, that guy's dead. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll say uh-oh. Spider-Man, did you see how badly that guy got exploded with a grenade? That was like the scene from the movie where Harry just got obliterated. There was a lot of enemies right now. Hey, hey, leave him alone. You stole his art after all, okay? Dang, he's actually helping us out. Whoa! You go, you go, dude. That's awesome. Thanks, man. That way we can actually have a sidekick for once. Better than Miles, I say. Nah, Miles is okay. I think. I don't know. I'm still out on the jury as to how I feel of, of Miles being in Spider-Man PS4. Let me guys, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on him being in the game. Oh, even though, <laughs> good old art guy. He can never let us down. The best sidekick in all of Spider-Man history. 
Random British art collector. I believe... Nice! Perfectly executed. Gotta get that health. Okay, sir. Well, you just enjoy your numerous uh, paintings of... Actually, pretty cool stuff. What is that? Got some doors. Girls, horses, people. Martin Lee, is that you? Nah, that's someone else. Okay, cool. Well, now we shall go after the wizard. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I got super sidetracked with that one mission. That was pretty cool, though. If you guys haven't seen that before, uh, it's a pretty dope mission. Woo, gotta go after Kurt, of course. Now, if we do get Lizard in Spider-Man PS4, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it would be a bit too soon, though, because the last time we got him was in The Amazing Spider-Man 1, which was the first movie tie-in game. And that was, um, by the time Spider-Man PS4 comes out, that would have been six years ago. So, uh, I don't know. I would be down for it I, if they do him properly, if they show a cool character of, uh, Kurt Connors. I think it'd be dope if they do it right. Uh, yeah. Gotta get all the, the classic Spider-Man villains in the game. Whoa, going way too fast. Again, look at the lizard. So good. At first, when I was a kid, I thought it was Lizard Man, but no, it's just the lizard. And again, I love this old school lizard with the, with the jacket, the, the, the science coat on. That's my lizard. Hashtag, that's my lizard. Dr. Connors, you here? You okay? him and find out what the heck's going on. That's right. Go for it, Peter. Because the only place he could have gone is the sewers, baby. Epic landing. Go for it. <sighs> Woo! Oh, good. I don't know how that happened very quickly, though. And that's it. <laughs> Epic. Down we go. Yahoo! Oh, I love these landings. So awesome. JJ's gonna love that one. Oh. Uh, bye. Sorry. We gotta get our paycheck, okay? Mr. Dikovich's rent is way more intense. Ew! Cannibalism. Lizard cannibalism. Why is there a guy in the sewers? Unless they dragged him down there, but why didn't they just kill him if that's the case? Aw, oh, man. Are we gonna meet Pennywise? Come on, guys. I don't want to get scared. Again. So, I'm assuming that that guy, that lizard just took the guy? Alright. Best QTE ever. Here we go! Again, from the intro... Woo! Yes! So sick. I don't care what anyone says. Those QTEs right there are awesome. It looks cool in my opinion. Ooh! Wow, that looks I'm guessing terrifying. The entire race of lizard people hasn't just been evolving down here unnoticed. Something weird is going on. Yeah, Toby... I think I'd be pretty darn freaked out, too, if you saw a giant lizard race down in the sewers after you saw Kirk Connors being turned into one. Man, Toby does not really care at all what's going on in this game, does he? Haha, -ha, uppercut, and charge kick to the face. Sky kick, web pull, web yank, all the web moves. This combat's really fun, guys. And great, they can spit acid. Because we all know that's what lizard people love to do. Take that backhand. And drown in the process. Awesome. Gotta take out these light posts, though. Don't want to get electrocuted. That would be bad for a lot of us. And... Third time's the charm. Ugh! Oh, I thought I was going to get electrocuted myself. Good thing we didn't. I've heard of alligators in the sewers, but what had to be flushed to end up with you down here? I don't know, but I think it was pretty darn scary. 
Quick time event part two, baby. Let's go for it. I think, right? No. Am I wrong? I guess I am wrong. Okay. I don't know when that quick time happens, but man, it's awesome. Whew. That area where we had to turn left is for later, guys, so don't worry. Which is probably the hardest part of the whole lizard fights. Whoa! It's the lizard from the new animated series! He's back! He looks awesome! Which, by the way, I think the lizard in the new anima animated series is my favorite incarnation of lizard. Or at least the way he, he looks in the, you know, in the show, because it's, it's like a mix of the old school lizard and also am i the only one who loves it when lizard actually has fins on him i don't know why i love it where he has like the giant like lizard fins as like the scales of his body i just find that so awesome i think it looks great did we seriously already take out that big guy man that was kind of intense ow later okay now i know there's a giant bunch of eggs here but we won't waste our time with those no, you can't scare us that easily. We have spider sense. Come on. Be a bit more aware. Ha! You can't trick me. I'm ready for you guys. I've spent years mastering the studying of when the quick time events happens for the giant lizards. I'm not going to fail anytime soon. I think this is the quick time event. Yes, go for it. Woo! Got really dark for some reason, though. Nice. Stuck the landing again. Badass. I love these quick time events, guys. I'm sorry. I just think they're awesome. Nope! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm aware for your tricks again, which, by the way, they wear bandages on their arms. That's kind of interesting. They're like Street Fighter characters. Whoa! Ew! Wow, that is messed up. You just saw two people die, Spider-Man. Or at least... Quite a lot more than that, I think. Come on, we gotta yo-yo up it in style. Or just, you know, use the stairs like normal Spider-Man would. Ha! Perfect! Instant death, I think. Nice one. That wall's too tough for me to break down, but I bet I can melt it. You sounded very confident there, Spider-Man, but just to make sure, let's take out the lizard people first. Woo! Nice. Which, by the way, how did the serum from Kurt extend it to so many different people so quickly? Like, how are all these people lizards right now? Where did they... How? When? And apparently, I guess the entire plot of the, uh... Amazing Spider-Man 2 game took from... Or Amazing Spider-Man 1 game and Amazing Spider-Man 1 movie took from this whole segment of the game for Spider-Man 3, where there's lizard people. Amazing. See, again, Tobey Maguire movies are the best movies. Sorry, Andrew, but still. Come on, guys. We've had enough of this, okay? Enough of your lizard shenanigans. We gotta get the heck out of here, fast. Tribal music of epicness is awesome. One more to go. Uh, I guess that didn't work. There you go. Pretty gross, if I do say so myself. Okay. Let us continue onward. Come on, Kurt. Okay, we just want to be friends, alright? No harm, no foul. Unless we do epic charge kicks like that to their faces. Sorry, this is for your own good, sir. Bam! Wow. What a challenge. What a challenge. Now, if only we could go down this ladder. Nah, let's just, uh, yo-yo down it like a boss. Of course. Was there ever any doubt? We could have just dove down there and possibly break our spine, but no. Yo-yoing is the only way to go. I don't know why it got so dark for some reason. Hi! Hi! Ooh! This music, again, I can't take the nostalgia factor, guys. It's hitting me too hard. Ugh, I can only play this game in little tiny instances, or else I'll get too much nostalgia overload. 
Haymaker, baby! Oh, yeah. Come on, oh, man. If I was about to play Ultimate Spider-Man, or uh, Spider-Man 2, compared to how I'm already feeling right now with this game, I, I don't think I could handle it, guys. It would be too intense for me. Whoa! Lizard people galore! Oh, my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, hey. Hands off the suit! Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's leave this right now. Get some backup areas. Woo -wee! Wow, that didn't work out at all, did it? We were in the middle of a sweet combo, dude, and you just had to go and ruin it, didn't you? Thanks a bunch. But the big guy's gone, I think. Yep, he is. And enjoy drowning. Later. Spider strength, baby! Creepy music is creepy. But, I'm okay with it. Come on, guys. If you want to shoot me, I'm right here. You can't be that too hard to fight, right? Nah. <laughs> Rage mode activated. Oh, no. Sorry, that's Marvel Nemesis. Or, uh, Shared Dimensions. Either one. Okay, Kurt, we're coming. Just hang in there. Gotta wait for Spidey to try and save you, okay? Just don't kill anyone in the process, please. You just teleported, Kurt. Come on. We saw that happen. You think we're gonna be that dumb and try and fight you guys with the steam going on? Please, we're smarter than that. Think this through, okay? We're Spider-Man. You're dumb lizard people. We are not that dumb like you guys are, okay? Oh, they're still there. There's still a lot of them. Ooh! Ooh! So, a couple fun facts about this game is that I think you can, in fact, come back to the sewers whenever you want to after you're done being the game. Uh, and also, you can also explore Harry's apartment if you go find Harry's apartment in the city. It's actually pretty cool that you can go there and just enter the house and also find the secret area in the room uh, with Harry's, you know, goblin stash. It's pretty awesome. This game has a lot of cool things in it, guys. Pretty good. Really underrated, but obviously still not the best Spider-Man game, but really fun, I think. Hey, Kurt! Uh-oh. Come back! Where are you going? Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, this could be bad! Spider-Man, just go for it. I don't care what you do, just run! Woo! I don't even know where we are that a giant drill would be there, but still, it's pretty intense regardless. Oh god, okay, Spider-Man, just book it, book it, go! Now, right now, okay? Swing tricks are not gonna work here, okay? But still, just run like no tomorrow. Zip like a box, just keep going. Woo! Yoo-hoo! Wow, I love the way he swung there, I just found that awesome. And yeah, random drill coming out of nowhere, but still awesome. Who is driving that thing? Just some miner? Still. Oh boy! Hey, hey Doc! How's it going? Come back! Whoa, are we too good enough for you? Or are you too good enough for us, I should say? Oh, this could be bad. Woo hoo hoo! I will feed whatever's left of you to my brothers. That's no good. I'm really stringy. That voice for Lizard is awesome, by the way. Third time's a charm? Just kidding, it's twice. But still pretty good. Go to your doom now. Is that where this belt goes? <laughs> I was wondering. I think so. See, even Toby's having fun with his lines. His jokes aren't that bad. They're actually pretty funny. Arr, come on, Doc. Take your medicine. Sorry, Doc. Of Down conveyor belts. Be ground. See? Again with the jokes. It's too good. Hey, Doc. Uh oh. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's just talk this out, okay? Let's be rational humans or lizard creatures. Ha <laughs> ha! Or, you know, just take this fight into somewhere else. Come on, Doc, you gotta talk to me here. Oh, that isn't good at all, is it? Uh, Toby, Spider Sense, by any chance? Oh, okay. Hey, Doc. 
Ow. That was really rude of you, okay? Boy, we got this in store. Yeah! Oh my god, even works on Lizard. I never knew that. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. Okay, psychopathic lizard who was once a man I respect has no qualms about hurting me. Yeah, obviously, Peter. You should actually make sure that you know this ahead of time before you fight him. I think that'd be a good idea. Unless we just keep on punching the heck out of him like this. If he only had the cannonball move right now. Okay. That would be the mice, right? I'm pretty sure it's the mice. <laughs> See? Even Toby knows. He knows exactly how to get under Doc's skin. <laughs> Even though, like he just said, it's a man he once respected, nah, he's still got time for jokes. You aren't leaving me much choice. Even though that choice includes me being the snot out of you. Woo! Okay, Doc, you know, we can just work this out, okay? No need to panic. Or, you know, trying to kill us either would be pretty darn bad for everybody. See? Even Spider-Man's been playing a lot of Street Fighter recently. Or just any fighting game in general. Come on, go for it. Yeah! <laughs> Epic Rodeo of Epicness! Nice job. Don't think I'm beaten yet, mammal. All right, Doc. You will not stop me and my brethren from attaining our birthright. I don't know when Dr. Connors actually became a flow-blown uh, anthropomorphic lizard that wants to dominate the entire world and turn it into lizards. Uh, but yeah, pretty darn intense formula you got yourself there into, Doc. But don't worry, we'll save you. That's what we do, baby. Only we had the super punch yet. Oh, we do. Nice. I thought we didn't have that for some reason. You gotta aim a bit better with that tail, Doc. You still got some practice under it, but still. This isn't gonna end well for you. Never. I won't succumb to the likes of monkey spawn. I can deal with the attempted murder, but the name calling really stinks. <laughs> See, even Toby's hurt by those insults, Doc. Come on. We got better stuff to do than fight you with our petty, dis uh, you know, disagreements. Okay, Doc, I would love it if you would stop hitting me, please. Just a recommendation. Aw, oh, come on, Spider-Man. Aim a bit better next time. Woo! So, Doc, do you, uh, hang here often? <laughs> Whoa, he's going, like, did you see that? He was running like Sonic. That was amazing. Only I could put some Sonic theme music over some lizard running. That'd be amazing. I won't, though. I have respect for Lizard. Or Kurt, at least. Oh! Can't escape us, Kurt! Come on! And that is why we are able to fight them in the city streets later on in the game. Pretty cool. Woo! Come on, Kurt! End this right now. Rejected. No, not yet. How about a little of this, punk? Later. Ha ha. Oh. Uh oh. Woo. Doctor Connors, wait. Come back. Come back. Oh well, yeah, we got the fourth epic move of the heavy attack list, guys. Yes. Nice. Right here, we got the best move. The hurricane, baby! Oh, awesome. So now, we have two missions! Oh boy! Oh boy! Well, you know what's next, guys. Stay tuned for part five, where we go after New Goblin and also the Dragon Tales, which I actually didn't know that this episode was going to be this long, so I do apologize if it got a bit long, but that's just more goodness that you can enjoy for yourself. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out. Yeah.